as a leader, one of the most important responsibilities that you have is building a great team. Now, the reality is that building a great team is one of the most difficult challenges that a leader has. But if you're able to overcome that challenge, then you can pretty much have as much success as you can envision. Now, as a leader, as you're trying to think through the best way to build a team and to surround yourself by talented individuals, one approach that I think can be extremely helpful is to think about your employees as stocks. Now, this seems like a crazy idea. You go, stocks, people aren't commodities. They're not uh, things that you can buy and sell. But this is an analogy that I think will help you to really think through how do you make the best decisions around the team that you're going to surround yourself by? And then how do you invest in them over time so that you can maximize your return? To start off, when you think about stocks, one of the first things that you do before you buy any stock is to do research. You should be doing the same thing when you're bringing employees onto your team. Doing the due diligence about understanding who they are, what their skills are, and what value they're going to be able to bring to your organization is going to make you uh, be able to make the best decisions for adding the right people to your team. Now, going beyond doing that research, once you bring somebody onto your organization, it's really important that you're investing um, in them. From a stock standpoint, a lot of times advisors will encourage you, you know, buy a little bit of a stock and then over time buy more stock just to kind of manage your risk and to make sure that you're, you know, growing the value of your portfolio over time. You should be doing the same things with your employees. Uh, you should be um, hiring them, investing time in giving them feedback, coaching them, helping them develop new skills. And then over time, you're going to see that their value is going to grow because you've invested in them. Now, in order to make sure that you're on track with stocks, one of the things that you do is you monitor their progress. You set some goals as far as how much growth you want to see over time. You monitor the ups, you monitor the downs, and then you make decisions accordingly. You should be doing the same things with your employees. You should be very clear about what your expectations are. You should be doing things to help your employees reach those expectations. And if you see your employees are backsliding or not living up to their potential, you should be helping them to get back on track. Now, when you think about your team, there's all types of people that you could potentially add. From a stock portfolio standpoint, there's a lot of stocks out there. And most uh, financial advisors will encourage you to have a very diverse portfolio, have some large cap stocks, have some small cap, have some things in tech, have some things in traditional businesses, and that will help you to kind of manage the ebbs and flows of the market. You want to do the same thing when it comes to building your team. You want to have some very experienced people that have a lot of knowledge. You want to have new people that are going to challenge the status quo. It's even good to get some people that are completely outside of your industry just so you can have a strong and dynamic team. As you're building that portfolio of diversity, I encourage you, make sure that you're also taking consideration the gender, ethnicity, religion, um, sexual orientation, all the different spectrums of uh, characteristics of your team. The more diverse your team is, the more strength that it's going to have, and the better chances you're going to be of ensuring that you have the best talent out there available. The last part of this whole equation of thinking through how do you build the best team is knowing when to divest. Now, even the best stock pickers in the world pick a bad stock every now and then. Uh, when that happens, they come up with a plan for divesting of the stock. Now, people are a little bit different. Uh, we should not be just cutting employees the same way that we discard a, a stock that's not performing. Uh, what you should be doing is having conversations with your employees, letting them know that they're not living up to expectations, and actually helping them to develop a solution to get in a place where they can provide the most value possible. Now, that solution might be within your organization by moving them to a role where they can flourish, or it may be helping them to find a job outside of your organization. The key thing here is treating your employees with dignity and respect and helping them get to a place where they can be uh, the best version of themselves. Your employees came to work with you because they believed that you would provide them an opportunity to advance their career. 
if things aren't working out, I think you owe it to them to help them find a soft landing someplace else. Now, these are five things that you can do to improve uh, the team that you have around you. I encourage you, run through this perspective. Really think, if my employees were stocks, how would I treat them differently? And then once you've considered that, remember that they're not stocks. They're people with dreams, hopes, aspirations. Make sure that you're respecting the humanity of your employees, but take the time to invest in them because by investing in them, you're investing in your business.